Hi there, V. Uh, I, I wanted to shoot you this quick video just to make sure that I uh, give you some idea of how I would go about this issue that you had. If you remember, as an example, we had sales report. And the first thing I would do is I would sort on column D. And once you get column D sorted, then I would go to subtotals, get into the data tab, and go to subtotal. Remember, at each change in, the reason you sort it on code is you'd want to pick code. And your function you want to use maybe, let's say, is you want to count and you want to do it just for code. So you read this top to bottom. Each change in code, you want to do a count for a subtotal. And I'd click OK and I'd get those counts in. Then what you're going to have to do, I found out, is you'd go over here and type. Uh, you could copy and paste this, but I'd do an ATL. And I'd put in five. And then I'd come over here and put in a BOS, or you could spell Boston out if you want to. And I'd put in a four. And you can't collapse this and copy it. It just doesn't work. I've been playing around with it. Chicago, I would put in five. Denver, I would type in a count of three. I think I'm just getting this right. Miami, MIA, I'd put in a four. And finally, Seattle. And I think Seattle was a four. And there's no reason to sum those up. If you take a look, you know that the auto sum on those is 25, but we don't even use that. Then what I would do is you could do individual calculations here to get what, what percentage five is of 25. And you, you know how to do that. You get your percentages here. But to answer your one question, I think I just highlight those. I would go to insert. And I would go into charts here, recommended charts. I'd probably pick the pie chart and say OK. And if you take a look, that'll insert a pie chart in. and It'll give you a legend. Let me make that bigger. You can put this on its, on its separate sh sheet if you want. If you just go up here and it says move chart. I just select the chart. I did this so it's easier to see. And I go to move chart. And I want to put it on a new sheet and say OK. All it does is it throws it into a new sheet. Then here's the neat part. If you go up here on this plus sign and you go to chart elements and you click on the plus, you want to go into data labels for sure and you hit this arrow here and you want to go to more options. What you can pick out is instead of just putting a value in there, you can show an actual percentage. So I'm just picking percentage here and it throws a percentage. And so l let me go back to the graph now here, select these if you want, and I can make them bigger. I'm going to make them bold and uh, let me make them 18 points so you can see them. I'm going to get down here and click on the legend down below and I'm going to make that uh, 18 points so you actually see that. And if you take a look there, what you have is you have your percentages. It's showing Atlanta. At 20%, it's showing Boston at 16%, Chicago at 20%, Denver at 12%. You can even actually put the names inside here. You do that all. You do that all for the, through this plus sign. I don't know how familiar with are with graphing. You hit that plus sign. You can go into the charts uh, title. You can go into the data labels, and that's what I'd play around. Go into data labels. Go into more options, and you do everything from from more options. I don't know if that helps or not, but that, that's one way of, of, of doing this and getting the percentages. Notice you go back to sales and that graph isn't there, but I could go back to chart, click on the chart anywhere, and up here under, if you take a look, when you click on this chart design at the top, you can move the chart if you want to right back into the sales sheet. And it just moves it right back in. And then you can move it to where you want it. I don't know. In here, close that pane down. We can make this a little bit bigger. And there you have it. I hope that helps a little bit.